Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Rim World, to uh, Crescent Canyon here on the Rim World, where things have been better, to be honest. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, we had a attack from these guys here, which I really should get these guys moved out of the way. But the attack went ahead and uh, it killed Wissa, unfortunately. So he is now uh, dead and gone, no longer part of our colony. And then the episode after, uh, his son, Sam, had a hard time of it and went on the rampage and attacked a muffalo and the muffalo won, unfortunately. So yeah, the Wissa family is now gone, right? No more Wissa family in our colony. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, on top of that, we've got Felix here who has contracted a muscle parasite because, you know, having a permanent brain injury apparently wasn't bad enough. He needed a muscle parasite too. It's making him even slower. It's making him tired all the time and it's putting him in pain. And even just the trek from there to here and back is causing him problems. So I think what we should do right away is we should try to make things in such a way that uh, Felix can just kind of stay in that area if he wants. So we'll move this bed to here. And we'll, once it's there, we'll make it into a medical bed. So Felix can just kind of pop over and get treated when he needs to and pop back to his own bed and sleep. We will put a very small stockpile zone right there and we will fill it with a pemmican. So he's always got some food right nearby. We will give him a table and a chair. So that's in furniture. Table, short table and a chair. He can always eat. And he actually, he likes playing horseshoes and he kind of wanders out here. That's a bit of a distance for him as well. So let's go ahead and give him a new horseshoes pin and we'll put it just right here. Just play it in the hall. I know it's a little different, a little odd. And he probably doesn't like being in the dark either. And we don't have power down to this kind of area. Oh, that's where the horseshoes is. Down to this kind of area. So we'll just uh, put a couple of um, torches in there and get that going. And hopefully that'll make his life a little more bearable. He can kind of just stick around right there. Um, other things that have happened. We need, well, we got to do a lot of stuff. Um, we need to get back on our research game. We have no research bench because we re-uninstalled it. So we can actually now build this, the high-tech research bench. We don't have enough um, components. Oh, okay, let's, uh, let's move that to there. Get rid of that one. And now we can build right there. Very good. But yeah, we don't have enough um, I don't have components. We have enough steel. In fact, we don't have any steel at all, as you can see. So, sorry. So we need to get back on our mining as well, which reminds me, now that we've lost two of our colonists, we should look and see what our um, work should look like. Okay, so first of all, growing. We have nobody now who is going to grow because our grower died. Sam was our grower. So let's see, four, four, two, two, and four. So uh, no one's better than four, but Sergey's got a little bit of a passion for it. So if we go ahead and make Sergey a planter. Now it's the last day of winter. It should be spring pretty soon. I think that's when they can start planting again. So Sergey, yeah, when he wakes up, if it's on the first of spring, he should go ahead and start doing some planting, which will be really good. Uh, he's also our tailor and our researcher. He's our best researcher, but Ryu's got a passion for it. Let's see, we've got to do some building. Who's our... John is our best... Con no, I lied. Felix... Well, Felix is our best constructor, but Felix is uh, having problems. Dax, not a constructor. And Ryu is four and Sergey is five. So yeah, I think we're going to have John focus on constructing, repairing, and mining. Actually, that's kind of how he already is. So there we go. 
Now we also, I think, okay, so Kiro we set to hunting. I think that's the smart move there. Um, Dax is doing our cooking and then our crafting and cleaning. She doesn't ha get to haul at all. Now she she could do the tailoring if we wanted to free Suri up so he's on planting, he goes back to research. That might be the smart move, because although, uh, well, Sergei has a, has a pretty good tailor at 15. Maybe what we could do is we can like, let them both do it. So, Dax, when you're done cooking, you can go ahead and do some tailoring. And then before you start doing, if he has any, any build to do, and if Sergei's not doing it, that way you'll get up some experience, and you can go work on those blocks. Um, Ryu, you'll chop down trees, and then you'll construct stuff, and smithing, they're tailoring off for you, and then haul and clean. So that sounds like a good plan. Grizzly Bear has gotten food poisoning from potatoes. I think our potatoes are just not good, you know? Which, uh, reminds me, we should actually make some kibble. Let's make, I don't know, uh, 50 kibble maybe? I don't know, maybe 30. Let's try 30, I guess. And then we can put a little kibble stockpile here and here for the bears and the pigs. And then I think they'll just go ahead and eat it. I think is how that works. I'm not entirely sure, but that's uh, my understanding. So let's just put a little tiny stockpile right here next to their eating area. And that will be just for kibble. And then we can copy those settings. So we put another one right over next to the bears area you get the same settings very good and speaking of those animals okay great the pigs are all able to haul now that i think is huge now i i'm not entirely sure how i get them to haul i think i can just uh unrestrict them so they can oops animals not colonists just be anywhere in the home area and they'll haul stuff around and let's try it out if i uh Say to haul those. Are these pigs gonna haul? He's eating some grass. Oh, they're just they're just gonna eat some grass. Guess they get hungry too. Dax, what are you up to? You're gonna tend to York. Oh, York got hurt. That's right. Okay. Felix is now at a major break risk. Um, hungry, sick, disturbed sleep, moderate amount of pain. Well, so it goes. They're building you stuff uh, here. Hopefully, pretty soon, when that gets taken care of, you're going to find life a little more bearable. Now, we also need to think about our storage. We've got this wood uh, pile over here. So we could actually uh, remove wood. Okay, yeah, he just hauled that. I saw that. That's awesome. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, an escape pod. Let's check this out. Jump to location. We've got... Vass, a space refugee. What has he got? He can shoot. He can do some constructing. He can do some mining. Actually, these are, I think, the best numbers we have on both of those. All right. He can't do menace cooking artistic. That's fine. We, we, are, we are totally uh, um, up on that. Um, he's got an annoying voice. He's greedy and staggeringly ugly. Okay, so he could be a bit problematic, I guess, but uh, I think we need him in our colony. We have lost some people. We need to get this guy up. Also, just doing that reminded me, looking down here, does everybody have a decent weapon? Felix does not. Sergei does not. Okay, Sergei, there should be a gun for you somewhere. Maybe it's not in there. Uh, there, there's a gun. All right, you get the pistol, and actually, Sergey, you actually get the survival rifle, I think. And Felix, when you wake up, we'll give you a pistol as well. And this, we're gonna make a medical bed. All right, uh, pemmican's not been moved yet, but okay. Minor Felix, is a little minor break risk. All right, Vax, uh, Vass, I mean, what is your health? So, uh, some cuts and cracks and stabs. You're actually going to be okay. I think you actually don't need medicine right now. But we are going to try to recruit you. That gives Kirill something else to do. And it also um, 
also is going to give a pretty good chance getting recruited because Kirill is a pretty persuasive sort of guy. He has recruited a number of people. He's recruited Dax and Sergey and Ryu, I think. All, all three of those. Is that right? I think that's right. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Anyway, it looks like the night is coming on, so we will go ahead and let everybody go to sleep, eat their dinner, and go to sleep. Okay, the sun is rising, and Felix is already unhappy, and what's he unhappy about? He's unhappy that he's urgently hungry because it takes him forever to get from uh, one spot to another. So we actually need to get that pemmican moved over pretty soon. Uh, that's the pemmican. Let's see. John. No. Uh, why is it not? Oh, you know what? We, all we need to do is just make this priority critical. All right. That should do it. Oh, and look at that. Okay. Uh, minor break risk. Vass is in a bad mood. Why are you in a bad mood? Just because you like crashed and now been treated kind of crappy or what? No impressive bedroom. Well, you know what? I have got the answer for you. Boom. All right. You better now? What? This, I mean, this is, I think, a pretty dang impressive bedroom, man. Seriously, like, you know. Okay, I mean, it's mediocre. All right, whatever. This is the best we've got. Are you going to be, Vax, are you going to be causing problems? Actually, you know, Vax, yeah, you're not, you're not Vax, you're Vass, but I think you're not even that anymore because we had a request that if we got any uh, colonists who were decent at mining, that we should name them, we would name this colonist Squishy. And Seven, you're a skilled practitioner. I'm going to count this as decent. You're not amazing. You're not, you know, a dwarf or anything. But that's, you can mine. You can mine. And actually, let's actually see. Your shooting is 97.5. That is a, that's a good shot. I like that. Um, anything else? DPS is pretty good. Full work speed. You know, everything I think is kind of mostly up to snuff. Cooking speed is 70. Is there a mining speed in here? Let's check it out. Yeah, mining speed 120. Oh, I love that. All right. So, Yes. So, uh, you are no longer Vass. We now dub you. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to dub you. We now dub you. Squishy. So, Squishy, welcome to our colony. Let's find out what you're like. You were not made as a man, but a cold hearted assassin. You were by engineered by scientists and trained as a killer. You were bred to have no emotion, no feelings, no care for who lives and who dies. <laughs> nice. So your shooting gets a big boost. Your melee gets a boost. Construction gets a boost, surprisingly. Doctoring, cooking, growing, plant cutting, and art disabled. Very good. Mercenary. You were a mercenary. Uh, yeah, I guess if you're trained to be an assassin, that's what you do. So more shooting, more melee. Melee, I'm not sure you say that. Um, and yeah, fear installing. So yeah, there we go. You are a fighter. You're a you're a yeah, you're a brawler, dude. But you can mine and you can construct, and so when you're not killing things, that is what you are gonna do. You have an, a great a particularly grating nasal quality to your voice. You tend to talk in barked, garbled phrases, so people tend not to like you. You're greedy. Um yeah. You want a good, good bedroom, and you're staggeringly ugly. <laughs> you look like a cross between a drawing, but until a child, a malformed fetus in a jar of formaldehyde and a piece of modern art. Others must exert conscious effort to look at him while conversing. All right, so how does that affect your social? So you don't like John, because John's disfigured? That's, I mean, I don't know, man. That's a little bit, uh, but let's see. Nobody likes you. Holy cow. Nobody likes you at all. I'm so sorry. So uh, this might be a little bit tricky, um, to be real honest. Uh, squishy, get a pistol. 
And I think um, you actually, you have a good bedroom. You can do some building, oh, some mining. Oh, look how fast you are. I love that. But uh, you can do some mining, but you know, actually, you're going to be on the night shift. Um, that's the, otherwise, I think you're just going to end up fighting with people. We're going to have, it's going to be terrible. So, um, basically we don't want you interacting with anybody. So that's kind of harsh, but true. Um, so you'll sleep there. You'll have some joy there. And then that's eight hours. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone else is at seven. So you can have some joy there. A little bit of overlapping time. Maybe, maybe they'll, they'll learn to like you. You can hope because you're going to be useful. I can tell. So you are on the night shift. I hope you don't mind that. So yeah, you're going to go relax socially. Um, by sitting at Felix's. Oh geez. This is going to backfire, isn't it? Uh, because now he's going to be disturbed sleep. Yeah, it's going to backfire. Um, People are just wandering in there. Uh, is there a way? Okay, that's not a gathering spot. And is that chair facing the right way? No, it's not. So we'll build one that is facing the right way. Actually, it won't. We'll just uh, reinstall it. There, that's facing the right way. But no longer a gathering spot, so people won't just hang out there. All right. Um, now, mining, well, part of the good reason for the mining is we've got to uh, work on, on this stuff here. we got to get our compacted steel mined out because we are short on it and we need power over here. We also need some lights in here and here. And Ryu has been planting, very good. Uh, we should put a light in here as... Oh, I know it's been done. That's getting worked on. Felix needs some treatment. So, Vax, can you go ahead and treat Felix? Oh, no, John is tending to Felix. You know what? I'd actually rather have Dax do it. Dax is uh, the one who's good at it. And we didn't set Squishy's things either. So, handling, we're reserving for Kirill. Hunt. Uh, I mean, you're a good hunter. You probably could, but we'll leave that kind of a low priority. So I think constructing and repairing, but before that, I want you to mine. And we can leave these things on. And you can actually haul and clean before you hunt, I think, because Kirill um, can go ahead and, and... Okay. A trade ship is passing nearby. They're known as Linus Interstellar. They are a combat supplier. So, I think, okay, I can call Linus Interstellar. I don't know if I can, okay. To send items or silver to orbital, orbital traders, you must build an orbital trade beacon and place a stockpile of items near it. Ah, I see. So I can't actually trade with him right as it is. But what do they have? They have components. They've got medicine. Um, a kidney if someone needs it. They've got weapons because they are weaponers. That's what they do. And they've, they're they not willing to trade these things here. Um, none of... Okay, none of our stuff is listed. What I think I want to do... Let's build for right now an orbital trade beacon right here. I'll have to think about how exactly to do this um, to make it work right. Let's see, where is that? Is that MISC? Yeah. Um, put it right there. It will cover everything. And Sergey, no, we don't have enough materials. So until we get 50 of these, that's 35. Now we've got enough, John. Actually, you know what, John? I don't want you to do that. I want you to do the trade beacon first. There we go. Get that done. Because I want to, I want to get to medicine, if nothing else. And I'm pretty sure our silver is in here. Um, yeah, our silver is in here. So once we get that thing built, 
All right, how long will that thing stay in orbit? Will it stay there till the morning? I'm just not entirely sure. Oh, it needs power too, dang it. Um, power. Oh no, it, it, ha it should have power. Okay, it does have power. So Felix, you're sleeping. I don't really want to wake you up. Ryu, how's your, you have some social, uh, Ryo, you come, you come and trade. Whoops. Doop. There we go. Try it again. Okay, now we can actually do some trading. And, uh, let's see. We can sell them components, frag grenades, cloth pants, uh, cloth parka, uh, or beaver skin pants. They don't want any of this stuff. They don't, they don't want our statues, unfortunately. I was really hoping we could make money off of statues. I'm looking that way now. But we can get ourselves some medicine. Um, I mean, all of it. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. That would like. That's a. Ugh. Let's get 20, I think. Yeah. That's still going to knock us down quite a ways. But um, yeah, 26 components. I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't think we have a need for a kidney. I think everyone's pretty much kidneyed up. I don't see any any uh, bio stuff, bionic stuff that would help uh, those guys do better. Frag grenades. I'm going to keep them. I like them. EMP grenades. I like them, but I don't have the, the silver to be going around buying them. Let's we'll keep these clothes we've got sitting around. I don't, I don't think it's worth buying any new ones. We can make them on our own, but... Uh, Cloth cabo hat. Psychic foil helmet. Oh, that's interesting. A thin helmet reduces the impact of psychic events. Um, yeah, I'm not really, I don't know. I think I'm gonna skip the tin foil hats, but uh, let's, yeah, I definitely want that. So that's, that is solid. You're gonna move those. Okay, I feel good about that. Squishy's working away. Um, you know what? He's not, he's not mining, which means that all the mining must be done, but we do really need a lot more, a lot more uh, compacted steel. We've got really behind on that, so I'm gonna see if he'll come and mine that as well while everyone else sleeps. And yeah, we'll just let Squishy work, let everyone else sleep, and uh, see everyone in the morning. All right, it's morning now. Squishy is headed off to bed. Sergey has got some food poisoning. And is this bill still running? I can't. It is. Let's go ahead and um, suspend it for now. I think there's actually nothing to make because we'll out of anyway. Well, and a little bit of rat meat. Uh, butcher table. We've got the kibble, but it's oh, we, uh, it's not getting made. Maybe because we don't have enough ingredients to get made. So what's Dax working on? She's stone cutting. So we need to get some more stones over there. We're running out of that, and hopefully these pigs will haul. And actually, speaking of hauling, uh, yeah, Grizzly still can't haul. Um, all right, a pack of man-hunting rhinoceroses under the area. They'll roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. We've had seen this before. They can't get past doors, so stay behind walls. You should be safe. But that didn't work last time. Uh, there's two of them. So I think as before, we are going to do exactly what we did last time, uh, except for Felix. You've only got a knife. You can uh, not have to worry about this, but everyone else has got a good gun, I think. Yeah. Rifle, SMG, rifle, uh, charge rifle, rifle, and uh, pistol. So everyone should be able to hit him. Uh, cover probably doesn't matter too much, but... Um, having people you know in here it might help a bit it does make a nice little firing line there's no risk of any friendly fire um uh, everyone's uh where's the bear going bear what are you doing you're moving i mean why are you moving so oh the pigs oh great yeah our pigs um oh too fast too fast slow it down kill the rhino. There we go. Run rhinos down. Come on, come on, come on. Kill the rhino. Yes, two rhinos are down. So uh, you guys undraft all of you. 
we will set uh, these guys to be hunted. I know they will attack when harmed. For the love of everything. Now we have to have... Okay. Well, uh, Dax, what are you up to? You're going to beat out the fire. Good idea. All right. Beat out the fire, and then Kirill, once you've done that, come back and kill these rhinoceroses. What are you taking rat meat for? Kirill, I'd like you to get these guys dead. Yeah. Kill the rhinoceroses. Squishy. Why is Squishy at a minor break risk? Disturb sleep. No impressive bedroom. All right. Well. Uh, so it goes, man. So it goes. All right. Is this thing... Still needs to get done. Uh, we probably still need to get more kind of resources on it. Uh, ooh, lightning, lightning, fires. No fires. Okay, some fires there and there. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them. If they start getting too close, we'll go ahead and make a fire break. But uh, I think it's yeah, it's raining now. Putting those fires out. All right, how are we doing? Um, Kirill's idle. That happens. He gets idle. Wood. Uh, we're doing pretty good on. We're still super, super low on steel. Nighttime. Squishy's working on the steel. John is doing it as well. Uh, although, yeah, John just got there just in time to know it was time to go hang out before bed. He's going to hang out before bed. Um, yeah, Squishy, we're going to have to give you a better room somehow, aren't we? Oh boy, I think what we'll do is we will actually mine out this gold here. And actually, I will say, once we are, um, you know, done mining this out, I'm going to have Squishy go ahead and really start working on this stuff here. Pause it for a second. Because I've been watching, this is really inefficient. All of our work and eating is over here, and the bedrooms are over here. And they're always back and forth and back and forth. And I don't like that. So what I want to do is really get the bedrooms in here like we originally planned. And I think we do that, and we'll really still be a lot more efficient. We can make some more paths kind of to the workrooms and stuff. So now that we have someone who can mine, and let's actually look, because he's got a passion for it. And yeah, he's already leveled up, and he's... He's learning his times a hundred, so he's just going to level up really fast. Um, we've got someone who can mine. We really should start uh, getting that done. Now, Kirill, you're resting but awake, so let's just give you a second. Check out this combat supplier, see how he's doing. And we'll have to actually think, now that I understand how the orbital beacon stuff works, let's think about exactly how we're going to do that as well. All right, they're selling medicine as well. They're selling it for cheaper than the last guys were, which is nice. Um, lots of weapons that I'd love to buy but can't afford. Uh, they'll buy some stuff from us. You know, maybe I'll trade in this normal parka for a little bit more medicine. And now, actually, so here's a question. Um, it's a lung here. So I'm going to accept this. It's still paused, though. I'm going to send Kirill back. So Dax... Dax has got, uh, asthma. So if we were to buy a lung, and then... What can we do? We can just do a removal. Um... But if we had one, maybe we could actually do a transplant. Now, I don't know. Is that risky? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to be a risky thing to do or not. Um, why is there a... Oh, the drop pods for the stuff we just bought. I got it. Um, yeah, go back again. Uh, let's see. How much is... That lung is... Uh, it's 300 silver. And I don't know, I mean, she's pretty good as she is. Let's just keep it in mind, and if, as we get, you know, if we get a bit richer, maybe we can kind of do it then. But I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to worry about it too much uh, right now. 
All right, anyway, another night. Squishy's gonna keep on mining down there. How is that doing? Um, there's more steel around here we could mine out. So let's just keep, let's see, this, it's not gonna collapse in yet, I don't think. We're okay that way. And maybe just a little bit more there. But uh, yeah, you're gonna go have your meal. Good call. You eat, everyone else is gonna sleep. Night everyone, see you in the morning. All right, it's the middle of the night, but Squishy, Squishy here is working on that gold. And actually, once he does that, yeah, he's gonna head right on into here, isn't he? Uh, and that's okay, so it's 35 gold right there. Um, that was just granite. Okay, it's that one little piece of gold, but it's 35, it's really valuable. So, why is there no power there? See, easily distracted. Okay, we need to run a power line out here. So the power gets there, but um, let's see. We've got this make small sculpture. Nothing's happening because there's that, but let's actually add a bill. I think we'll pause it for a second. I'll make it a small sculpture and we'll make it out of gold. Okay, out of gold and he needs 20. Uh, if we made a large sculpture, how much would that need? Oh wait, um, is that, oh no, it's required, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing, it requires 135, this requires 70, crap, we still don't have enough, but I do think, how are we for, for marble blocks, I think we have quite a few marble blocks, um, Oh wow, small volume ingredient. This means each unit is only 1 20th as much as the normal volume ingredient. So to fill the same ingredient requires me 20 times as much as usual. So wow, that's a lot of gold, even for a small sculpture. Um, okay, I see what's going on. But let's just, yeah, let's have him make one small sculpture. Actually, let's see, how many marble... A lot of marble blocks. We could actually make it two. Or not two, but I mean make it a um, large sculpture, I think. And we'll make it out of uh, marble. Because marble's a little more valuable. I think it makes them a little bit happier. And the only person, actually, who should be doing that is Kirill. So, Ryu, you don't get to do art. I don't know why that was ever on for you, but it's just not okay. So we're gonna make that for make that and put it in Squishy's room and see if that helps him make his room a little more impressive, makes him a little happier. Hope that it does. Um, we've got okay. So this stuff out here, I guess the animals won't haul because it's outside of the home zone, and that seems kind of inefficient. So let's actually let uh, the pigs go anywhere and see if they then start hauling stuff from outside and then once we aren't worrying about that so much we'll get back to the inside we also probably uh once kirill finishes this sculpture we probably should go ahead and get him hunting a few more things so we've got some more food we're, we're okay on food um in fact we should probably plant a bit more because sergey could definitely do that once he gets this this bench built i guess but, uh, alright, this sculpture's gonna take a little while, so we probably won't finish it anytime soon. So let's see. What's everyone doing? John's playing horseshoes, Felix is sleeping. How is Felix doing? He seems, it's a cramped environment, but he actually seems like we've had fewer of these risks with him. Uh, okay, he left. Um, Kirill... Still sad about his friends, but he's really happy about getting married. That was 10. Now it's going down to 8. I hope that they're not uh, having problems. Um, yeah, he's not feeling so good. Dax. Dax is feeling good. She's still at 10 with with Kirill, so that's uh, good. Ryu. He's got the Optimus still. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing new. And he just got this cramped environment, no impressive bedroom thing. 
the cramped environment, I'm guessing, is going to be from working in this little room here. Yeah, not Sergey. So, let's just see. How, how is this going? Still a lot of work left in that statue, so it's going to be a while for that's done, but I think it'll be, it'll be good when it is. So, all right, it's night again. Uh, Felix and Dax both need treatment. So, Dax, I know you're playing horseshoes, but why don't you take care of Felix? Actually, Felix, where, do you, where are you? All right, you're heading back. Actually, you rest for there, and then... No. Uh, Dax. Okay, you gotta wait till he's in bed, I guess, to go treat him. But you give him his treatment. Alright, and then... Once that's done, I'll send you off to a medical bed. And I will have uh, our second best person. Well, only Ryu. Squishy, actually, I think, is pretty good. At, no, he can't. No, I'm, well, I'm thinking he can't even doctor at all. He's not good at it at all. So, Sergei is sleeping. Ryu is terrible. Felix is a 10. <laughs> Um, and John is at a nine. So I'm going to put John uh, as a doctor. And so, Dax, you just go ahead and have a sleep tonight there. And in the morning, John will come and heal you. But we're going to have to call that it for today. We're out of time. Thanks so much for watching. It's been definitely a calmer episode than the last ones. We didn't have, I guess with some rhinos attack, which was kind of nice. But we, I mean, we were able to keep, save them off. But we didn't have... Nastiness landing in the middle of our base, but uh, we got a new colonist. We got Squishy here who's doing our mining for us. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.